many students were requesting me about campus placement group discussions and interviews how to prepare for campus placement how to prepare for group discussions so um, from today onwards i'm going to start a series on campus placement in this series i'm going to tell you about how to prepare for campus placement how to prepare for group discussions how to prepare for interviews so that you can get the dream job that job which you are craving for so dear friends um, watch this video series carefully lot of interesting things important things psychological things i'm going to tell you which will definitely help you to get placed in the company of your choice if you are not preparing for campus placement forward this video to that person who is preparing for campus placement so that someone will get benefited out of this video out of this efforts which i take to make these videos well so uh, let us start and uh, today we are going to have the first topic is how to prepare for online group discussion hang on for 2 to 3 minutes and these four tips will help you a lot to prepare for online group discussion let's start well dear friends as you know uh, nowadays campus placement uh, is going to start or it may have started in your colleges and the way the campus placement uh, recruitment process is conducted it has been changed it has changed a lot offline has come to online and now the process is mostly online most of the students are not familiar with how to prepare for a group discussion online they know how to prepare for offline physical group discussions but they don't know about this online group discussions so i'm going to give you four tips this will help you to prepare for online gd so let us go with the first tip yeah these tips sound like a common sense but we forget them and this is the reason why i'm telling you these tips they will create a huge problem if you don't pay attention on these tips so the first tip is very important be familiar with the app whichever app you are using you can use zoom or you can use uh, google meet or you can use uh, microsoft teams or whatever it is first of all be sure that you know all the uh, important things all the important interface buttons are there all the important tools in that particular app be familiar with that so that when you actually go online you should not have any trouble you should not have, have any problem handling the app very important this is know everything about how to start the camera how to end the meeting how to uh, send a message all these things you should be familiar with be familiar with the app whichever app you are using as i said zoom app google google meet microsoft team whatever it is and before that make sure that the same app is been used by the interviewers or the company which is going to recruit you be sure about that so number 2 tip is there have good quality microphones and good quality camera here i can show you use a webcam if you have a webcam use a webcam webcam is very nice it has very good quality usually laptops don't have good good camera so uh, avoid using the laptop camera and use a webcam do not use mobile phones i mean yeah if your mobile phone is of good quality then no problem but using a laptop is um, you know what you, you can see a big screen you can see all the participants there what they are doing plus you can free your hands the laptop will not fall down usually it happens with mobile mobile will by mistake fall down from your hands so use a laptop that will help you to have a very nice group discussion and you can see the whole uh, scenario there you can see all the participants there what's happening around there so use a laptop a good microphone now a good quality microphone is required test that because it's audio visual audio and video both are important while performing in a group discussion so have a good quality audio and video tools as i told you good webcam and a good quality microphone uh, you can borrow it if you don't have i'm not saying that go and buy specially for this but borrow it from your friend or someone else but use a good quality if you have a headset with a microphone it's good avoid using mobile microphones which we use for mobile calling this is a very important exam we have to be prepared third tip i want to give you is sit in a quiet place sit in a place in your home or wherever you are where no one disturbs you no one will come in the background there so they should it should be very uh, if you do not have such a place 
at least put a virtual background behind. But usually what happens with virtual background is you get blurred with the background. So it is better to sit in a place where no one is disturbing you. It's very important. This is a professional uh, meeting, uh, a discussion is there. So you have to take care of all these things. Hmm? Okay. Let's move ahead now. The last tip I'm going to give you. While conducting group discussions, I take group discussions online and communication sessions online. I have seen that many students switch off their video. And the reason they tell is they have poor internet. The, the internet speed is very slow. So this is, this is not acceptable when you are giving an online group discussion. This is an exam. Uh, at that time, you should see that you have a strong, good internet connectivity. You can't stop the video and give a GD because as I said before, in GD, uh, they see like your facial expressions, they see uh, how you talk and uh, also others will also able to see because only when audio is there, it's like a phone call. But when audio and video is there, it's like a live talk. It makes a big difference. So be sure about what kind of internet connection, who is the internet service provider in your area who gives seamless and high speed internet connectivity. Dear friends, these four tips are very important. Let me revise again. First tip, be familiar with the software. Whichever app you are going to use, be familiar with that. Number two tip, have good quality earphones. Have good quality earphones and good quality of camera, webcam. This is number two. Number three tip, sit in a quiet place. Sit in a place where no one disturbs you. Number four, very important, have a good internet connection. Well, guys, these are the four tips. Uh, be careful about all these things. And when you are going for a GD, watch this video again and get all these things ready so that you go to GD with a very confident mind and with thorough preparedness. Thanks for watching this video. A second video is also going to come. It's all about campus placement and group discussions. Stay subscribed and watch other videos as well. These videos will help you to get a good placement and a reputed company. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.